Hey guys, welcome to your Michigan Compass. Today, we're in Port Huron, staying at the KOA Resort Campground. This place has all kinds of fun amenities. They've got water slides, they've got go-karts, several pools, and lots of stuff to do. So come along with us for this fun camping adventure. Now guys, originally I wanted to show you a map and where everything was and where how it was laid out, where we stayed, all that good stuff. But by the time I was done highlighting things and circling things and showing you all these things on this map, it was a seven minute segment and it was just way too long. So what I've done instead is just put this photo up and you can pause it and feel free to take a look. There's so much on this map to see. Just past the entrance is the first pool, and it looks like it's actually two different pools, two smaller pools. And right next to that is the arcade. And just the other side of the arcade is a place where you can come get ice cream. It's the ice cream parlor. And they also have some fried foods here as well. And I see something about tickets over here. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Right over here, the first of several playgrounds. This one is pretty big. It's got swing sets, got monkey bars over there, big uh, obstacle course here with the slides, and it looks like a fort in the background over there. Yes, indeed, there is a little play fort in the background over there that the kids can go inside and play inside. Another thing I want to point out is that some of these sites are really nice, and you can get a site that has a paved area for your camper and also a gazebo these gazebos by the way do have patio furniture inside them and looking over here to the left next to these buildings you'll notice some train tracks and that's because there is a train here that you can ride we also have batting cages right there and upon coming over here to the front of the building it says the train schedule and the schedule is apparently Sunday through Friday Sunday through Friday, 4 p.m., they do two rides consecutively, and also on Saturday, from 1 to 6, once every hour on the hour. So we may try and do this either today after 4 p.m. or tomorrow sometime in the middle of the day. It's only a dollar per person, and it looks like it's a lot of fun. Just the other side of the train station, there is a mini golf area. And this looks like it would be a lot of fun, so I have a feeling, you know us, we love mini golf. I think we'll be coming over here to play around sometime in the next two days. And just past the train station, yet another playground in front of this building that looks like it might be a church of some sort. And just the other side of that, we have a little basketball area. And then further back, bumper boats and way off in the distance, a water slide. So let's go take a look at some of this stuff. And you'll also notice that the train tracks come all the way over here by the bumper boats. Quite a few bumper boats out there. It doesn't look like anybody's running right now, but maybe a few people getting ready to. Slide off in the distance. Just past the bumper boats, this area here, where they have the water balloon wars. I've seen this many a times at different campgrounds. And they've got like little slingshots set up so you can really whip those water balloons around. A couple of pavilions back over here. And way off in the distance, can't quite see it too well from where I'm at. Go-karts, and those are running right now. I see people over there on the go-kart track having a good time. We are definitely gonna be doing that sometime in the next two days. And the train track's still running across here. And I believe this is playground number three. Quite a few we've seen so far today. How cute is this? Look at this little cabin. Cabin number 120, it looks like a little church, a little chapel, very cool looking indeed. And uh, the only reason I know that you can rent this is because there's a parking spot right out front. Picnic table over there and a little swinging chair right there and it's got an air conditioner, so this is a little cabin that you could rent. 
really cute looking. Plenty of cabins in this area. Um, a lot more than most campgrounds that I see, they have a lot of these smaller looking cabins, which is ideal if you're not somebody who likes to camp in a tent or you don't have a camper, you can still come and have a good time. Lots to do here. And on further inspection here, there are quite a few of these cabins. They all have like swinging chairs on the porches. Very cool looking. And then right over here, I think I saw this in another video. Yep, that is correct. Right here. Right here is a cooking area for those cabins. So if you don't have a place to cook, you do now. They've got a couple of spots where you can use your pots and pans and cook in sinks to wash up in. And there's even picnic tables in here. So you can just kind of chill out after you cook and eat your meal. Very nice indeed. It's all covered. Really like this. Another thing I wanted to point out here is that the pavement for the most part is all nice and clean and well maintained. But this area doesn't look that old to begin with, maybe only a few years old. Very well maintained. Over here, the restrooms and showers for this area. And I do have to say, I'm very impressed with the cleanliness of these restrooms. They're nice and clean. And I have not had any issues with any of that. There are several areas throughout the campground that have these post lights, and a lot of them do have cameras and Wi-Fi spots. The one thing I gotta say though, the Wi-Fi is terrible here. Have not been able to connect to it yet. It's, uh, it's very, very bad. Um, they did say they were having some internet issues, but uh, uh, they also told me that the internet was only for checking emails or your social media accounts and things like that. But to be honest with you, I have not even been able to log on, so I have not been able to check my email using their internet. Fortunately, I was able to get through with mine, but if you're camping and you do business on the road, this might not be your best bet to depend on their Wi-Fi here, even though they do have these great Wi-Fi spots set up throughout the campground, it's just not working. So currently nobody is at this site right here, but I wanted to point this out. They've got this covered gazebo with all the chairs inside. It's all cement concrete. They do have a fire pit here with a little rocking glider and it is equipped with a grill. So everything you need is here. You've even got some flowers planted for you. Now, if you've got a bigger family or you're camping with a group, this spot might be ideal. They have multiple cabins. They look much bigger than the others like a small mobile home. And there's a community dining area right in the middle with umbrellas and tables and a fire pit. Well, all the way here in the very back of the campground, it looks like we finally figured out where that train turns around and it's way back here. So it's a pretty long train ride. And not too far from the site we're staying at, just behind the pool, is this other playground. I believe this is playground number four, five. I don't know, I've lost count. There's so many playgrounds. Some of them are bigger than others. Uh, this one has the uh, obstacle course, jungle gym, whatever you want to call it with the slides and everything and the stairs and the, and you got a tire over here and then swings over here just in front of the pool. This being the, uh, I guess the third pool if you want to consider it that since there was two together at the other one, this would be the third pool. And uh, there's also bathrooms, showers, another shower house over here. Also, I should point out, if you're in a camper or RV and you need a dumping station, they do have three lanes here to choose from. Quite a bit of area here to dump and take care of your sanitary needs. Guys, check this out. They are building more campground area. Can you believe it? We've got some gazebos over there, some basketball courts going in over here, a new bathhouse going in right there and it looks like these are going to be pull through spots for bigger rvs these look pretty long so the bigger rvs won't have any problem pulling in here hooking up and leaving without an issue plenty of brand new picnic tables over there stacked up and ready to be delivered to those sites they're building 
Looks like they're still working on the sewers. And looking down here, another water balloon toss area. And I'm not sure what the building is down there. We might have to go check that out. All right, well, this looks like it might just be for storage of the golf carts and whatnot. But they do have the water balloon toss, and I believe this is called Gaga Ball, that little fenced-in area where you get in there with a ball. Well, if the last one was not playground number five, then this one is. This one's a bit smaller, just two little uh, climbing apparatuses for kids to play on. But you'll notice that there are cabins around us, and there is another kitchen area, a communal kitchen area, where you can come over and use their facilities to cook and clean and dine. Well, if you ask just about any experienced camper what their favorite part of camping is, you'll probably get the same answer. It's sitting around a campfire at night with friends, reminiscing about old times, sharing new stories, creating new memories, and of course, roasting marshmallows. All right, guys, well, we are over at the Fun Center, located over here on the other side of the campground. They've got some batting cages over here. And by the way, you guys can access this from the main road. You don't have to access it directly from the campground. It's called Sawmill City. They also got some mini golf, which we're gonna be doing for sure. And this little spot here is the train station. This is where you can hop on the train. Train rides are a dollar a piece. It's also a spot to buy tickets right there in the front. They got a machine where you buy tickets. And you can do bumper boats, go-karts, mini golf, uh, basketball, and I believe there's something, oh, the uh, water balloon fight all require tickets. The train ride does not require tickets, which seems odd, but you, uh, you just give them a dollar to get on the train. But that's all done right here at this building. And we're gonna head down this way and go have some fun. And right over here, they have some specialty basketball hoops. Looks like a lot of them are for doing some trick shots. You got some backboards there that are banked in different manners to allow the basketball to get into the hoop. All different sizes and heights. And I'm not sure if this is to play a game. There are little score type uh, podiums, I guess you would call them here. So I guess there's a game that you play doing this, but I have no idea what the game is or how it's played. This is one of the items that requires tickets. And off in the distance there, they do have a really cool water slide with three different slides. One of them, uh, what we call the toilet bowl, that kind of spits you out in that little bowl and you spin around. And unfortunately, the water slides are not open. I don't know why. I'm not sure what the reasoning is, but uh, you can't get on the water slides. And looking over this way, here's the bumper boats. And it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I do see that those bumper boats are allowing you to shoot streams of water at your friends. And also there's a big fountain in the middle. So this looks like it'll be a nice, cooling, fun thing to do. We're going to be doing this in just a few minutes. Another thing I should point out is just over here next to the bumper boats, there are some bathrooms. So if you do have to go, you don't have to walk too far. Over here is the area for the water balloon wars. And you can see on the ground all kinds of busted up water balloons. And if there's somebody with you who just doesn't want to do the bumper boats or the go-karts, there's this nice shaded area here right here with the picnic tables. So you can sit up here and watch your kids have fun without being too hot. All right, we are headed down to the go-karts at this point. And it looks like a pretty cool track. There is a bridge. You go over and under. And it looks like they're getting ready to take off right now. And there they go. The first row is off. And here goes the next row.
Alright guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm in my go-kart. Here we go. Well guys, one other thing that's here is a train ride. It's a mini train, and we're on board right now, getting ready to go around the campground. All right guys, here we go. in just a moment. see this cabin earlier but take a look at this that is an amazing looking cabin it's got a deck it's kind of raised up a little bit really nice we did see these earlier over on this side
thing I didn't mention, we ended up finding out about those water slides way off in the distance. And they closed in 2020. And they are being sold, unfortunately. All right, guys, well, the time has come. And now it is time to do a little mini golf. As you guys can see, this is a pretty cool course. This is the 18th hole and it is a mine shaft. There's some cactuses off in the background, waterfalls, there's a water wheel back over there, and a big fountain over that way. This is gonna be a fun time golfing today. All right, guys, here it is, the first hole. And there it is. We're gonna try and get it down there. There's a obstacle in our way. Let's see what we can do. And there it is. Hole in two. All right, guys, here we are, hole number nine. And this one's pretty simple. There's a little bit of a hill there in the middle. But uh, right down this way, doesn't seem like it'll be too hard. The scenery is getting nicer here. We've got uh, sawmill plant number two right here. And we've got this lovely waterfall in the background. Guys, we're headed up the hill. We're gonna climb up on top of this uh, rock formation in this area here, because there's a couple more holes as we make our way up into this course. Hole number 10, this one's another straight shot. Let's see if we can get this one in. I'm gonna give this a shot, see how it goes. Let's try for a hole in one this time. That's close. Oh, so close on that one. Let's follow through, see if we can at least get a hole in two. No, it looks like it's gonna be a three. And it's a three. All right, guys, check this one out. This is hole 14, and it's through a cave. We have to golf through this cave. That's kind of cool. All right, guys, here we are at the last hole. And uh, I'm gonna film my daughter doing this one. There it goes. Oh, oh, so close. That was so close, guys. She, she was almost there went right up the path it was supposed to go and bounced off the mine cart itself right off the very edge of that mine cart it went up the ramp in the middle and missed it well guys mini golf was a lot of fun i did not do as well as i normally do uh, it was a tough course some of those were very difficult some of them were very easy just uh was hit and miss and uh still had fun regardless and there's still another day here at the campground. We'll be probably doing some cooking and a few less activities because it looks like we're expecting some rain tomorrow. And that's just one of the things you have to deal with when you go camping. All right guys, we're switched over to the GoPro and we're gonna make that tremendously long walk over to the pool don't laugh that's a joke that's right we're right across from the pool and the bathrooms best camping spot in my opinion in this park and uh, we're gonna go ahead in the pool I did hear it is very cold in there I do apologize for the audio I know it sounds like garbage but that's what a GoPro does and it is waterproof so we'll be able to get some action shots inside the pool all right, well, we have made our way into the water, and yes, it is cold. Cold, cold. Not freezing cold, but like, not warm. <laughs> and just like magic, nobody's in the pool except for me and a few kids. So the water's not bad once you get in and warm up a little bit. It's a little bit chilly at first, but I think the worst part is the wind when you get out makes everything feel a lot colder. Over here, guys, they've got some 
buildings that are decked out kind of looks like an old western town the way it's decorated and there's quite a few things over here starting with the opera house which is their movie house at night they have movies that they show inside there uh, outhouses is exactly what you think it is they are bathrooms and showers right there the trading post right next to that has uh, different souvenirs and t-shirts and things like that you can buy there's also plenty of seating out here really nice seating in fact there's some uh, gliders that are out here as well so you can kind of go inside and they do have a pizzeria inside as well as an ice cream shop you can get pizza and ice cream inside the mad dog saloon and then just the other side of that is a candy shop and here's those gliders i was talking about you can come out here get yourself a piece of pizza inside and sit out here or they have booths and tables inside as well all right we're gonna head inside take a look see what they have in here as mentioned they do have pizza here you can order a whole pizza that is an option it's Hunt Brothers Pizza, often seen in a lot of campgrounds. And you can order whatever you want on your pizza. They have several options. Or you can order, they call them hunks. They're really slices. One slice is $3.19. Two is $6.19. Plenty of seating inside. Looks like a little classic western style pizzeria. And they also have Ashby's ice cream, one of my favorites. As you know, I call this the up north ice cream. Lots of good flavors in here. In fact, we stopped in here last night and I got this jacked up Tennessee toffee. And it was delicious. And just over here is a souvenir shop. Plenty of different things inside here that you can get. Lots of things related to the Port Huron area. Couple things related to camping. Some different clothing and apparel. Light up sunglasses. Over here, they have some hoodies. It's the KOA official campfire hoodie. Some over here. It's a Port Huron. And these hoodies, by the way, just so you guys know, the ones that say KOA brand are $46.99 and the KOA brand shirts are $35.99. Got these here as well. Kind of looks like a uh, Jack Daniels whiskey logo. Quite a few different hoodies. They are a bit pricey though. Some smaller ones as well. And I believe there's no price difference on the smaller ones, unfortunately. Over here, got some knitted caps with lights on them. Lights for your bike. And over here, some basic KOA campground shirts with the KOA logo. And I believe these are the ones that are... 35. Down here are some barrel style mugs. These are insulated mugs. Keep your coffee warm. Also have a little bit of jewelry up on top. And of course there's toys for the kids. Bubble blowers. Silly drink hats. Got some wooden swords and axes over here. Shields. And some Explorer helmets right over here. And rubber band guns as well. Just to give you an idea, this little rubber band pistol is 1550. All right, and heading just the other side of that pizza restaurant is a candy shop that's decorated and themed so well in here with all the Western little trinkets and whatnot and down here you get a bag of dirt it's a mining bag actually and uh, some of these are more expensive than others depends on what you want this particular bag right here is six dollars 
and there are stones inside and they have a little area where you can go outside and sift that dirt in the uh, the water and find out what gems you've gotten and there are gems in every bag this particular bag here much larger it's a BB plus bag is $31 Even smaller bags over here. An eight ounce yellow gemstone mining bag for $7. And then a blue fossil mining bag for $10. Just to give you an idea, these are, there's not many in here, but there's a few stones. And that's the kind of thing you would find after sifting that in the water outside. And I'll show you where that's done once we exit the candy store. Lots of snacks and different things in here. Mostly junk food, but there's plenty to choose from. Over here they have the classic rock candy on a stick. And this particular one I noticed yesterday is maple syrup. That sounds good. Oh, but look. This one is funnel cake. Plenty of drinks inside as well. Even more candy right here. And on the other side as well. And right over here, one of my favorites this is Zots, and if you've never had this, it's a hard candy, and the inside is filled with a sour, foaming candy that, as you suck on it, it foams up in your mouth. really kind of cool, similar to, like, Pop Rocks. has that same uh, reaction to it, without the popping, though. If you're in need of cash, they do have an ATM in here as well. And there's plenty of cool photo opportunities like this unique looking chair right here. Very coolly decorated building. There's even some trains down here. Guys, if you do decide to come over and do some mining, this is where it's at. It's right outside the building here. Um, by the way, the uh, the last building, or the last door there, says Sheriff's Office, and the Sheriff's Office is not open, but if you peer inside, you will be able to see the Sheriff is sleeping at his desk, and there is a jail cell, and I'll insert a photo that I took with my phone right here. And now, looking over this way, here is the area. This is the Port Huron KOA mining company according to the uh, water tower up there and that water trickles down comes down the trough here all the way down passes through here down and around and right over here is where you can pour your bag of dirt in one of these and then you just stick it in the water and you can sift through and see what stones you've found inside your mining bag. And here is a much better example of the stones that you might find in your bag. Most of them are rough cut stones, but they are real. And lastly, right next to the mining area is what they call the KOA livery. And it's not really a canoe livery, it's a bike livery you can rent all kinds of different bikes here. They have these little low riding bikes. They have regular bikes and they have these family bikes where you can ride two or four people at once and all pedal around the campground. Well guys, we did have a wonderful time here at the KOA Port Huron Campground Resort. There was tons to do, lots of fun stuff, mini golf, bumper boats, go-karts, all that. It was an absolute blast. And it was a good time sitting around with some friends having some good talks over the campfire and just enjoying life. That being said, I do need to let you guys know about something earlier on in this video. I let you guys know that everything was clean and wonderful 
And that's mostly true. However, we arrived on a Thursday and on Friday evening, this campground was filled to capacity. Not one site was open and the bathrooms really went downhill fast. Unfortunately, we made several reports that the bathrooms needed cleaning and they just were not being maintained like they should have been and it wasn't the best condition or situation. I hope that's not a normal thing here at this campground. I hope that that was just a rare occurrence, but it was what it was this past weekend. And both Friday and Saturday, things were a bit out of hand. We also noticed Friday evening, about three in the morning, there were a lot of teenagers running around yelling. And that's one of the rules here at this campground. You're supposed to have quiet time. And it was definitely not quiet time. This is one of the loudest campgrounds I've ever been to. And it didn't seem like anybody was doing anything to police that. Um, we had some kids with us who were trying to sleep and it just didn't work out for the best. But that being said, I still would recommend coming here. It's a fun campground. There's a lot to do. And I do highly suggest the KOA in Port Huron. Well, with that, guys, I am going to sign it off for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. We do a lot of fun things like this throughout the summer. I'm hoping to do quite a few more. It has been difficult with the high cost of gas here in Michigan to get out and travel to long distance locations. But we're going to continue on and I hope you guys will support me. If you like this video, please show me by giving it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click on that compass so you can stay subscribed to future videos just like this one. And remember, adventure is just a short drive away.